you're, you feel invincible when you're 24 years old. One minute, you think you're on top of the world, and the next minute, you're in an ambulance. Probably my head wasn't fully focused on the task at hand. It was only another two hours, and I was going home. I had just finished working 21 Day Hitch. I was like going home, gonna have Christmas and New Year's off. You know, you're in a frame of mind. And uh, when I ended up getting home and I listened to the answering machine, it was my boss telling us that I had to be up in Valley View the next day because we had what was called a commitment well. So it was like a drastic mental change. It's, you know, you're driving home, you're thinking everything's, you got Christmas and New Year's off, and then the next day you're packing your bags and you're heading to work again. But it was minus 40, blowing snow, you know, thinking about going home in the morning, let's just get her done. I got another couple hours as I stepped onto the monkey boards, it's called. You know, it was, there was ice and snow and stuff and one of the lines came across and it caught me and I kind of lost my balance and I went to grab a beam. The thing I remember is falling backwards. I could see my glove, because it was wet, still stuck to the beam as I was falling backwards. So I knew I was in trouble. About 30 feet down, there's a, there's a Kelly hose, and I uh, end up hitting my back on the Kelly hose, which is probably what saved my life. And then, it, but when I hit my back, it kind of flung me back forward. So the last 30 feet that I fought was falling, I was falling head first. And as I seen the ground coming, my natural instinct was to put out my hands. And it was on my right side, and I still remember that when I hit, you know, I looked and I could see like my elbow had come right out, right through my coveralls and everything, right? And, there was blood everywhere and I mean it was uh, it happened quickly right so I was working and uh, I got the call at the office and it was from the rig site and he said that my son had had an accident after that, I um, right away uh, phoned my uh, husband. Then I went home, and um, um, right away I called Jamie, because Jamie was in school. And then when my daughter came on the bus, I um, just sat her down and I told her what happened. And she was really upset because she was really close to Jody. Then when I got the call, I went to the hospital. Of course, Jody had come out of surgery and he was um, very heavily sedated, but he opened his eyes and he smiled at me. And of course, I started to cry. And <laughs> I was so glad that he was okay. Uh, I mean, you know, I knew he had injuries, but I was so, so thankful, so thankful that he was alive. <laughs> They had to do several surgeries to remove all the damage. So basically what happened is a lot of my tendons and the, and the stuff attaching my fingers and stuff were severed. I don't have any feeling in the bottom part of my hand, right? So it's what they call radial nerve palsy. I like the offshore environment. I really like the people here. You can take the boy away from the farm, but you can't take the farm away from the boy. Um, so that's why I have the garden and, you know, the pets. And I uh, really enjoy hunting and fishing as, uh, you know, my pastime or just being out in the woods. I kind of say that, you know, I've kind of been on the bonus round for the last 25 years is the way I put it, right? So it's a, it's a new chance. You know, a lot of times, um, you know, in the industry that we're in, it's kind of dynamic and, you know, things are changing all the time. And sometimes we have a plan in place, but something goes astray. So what we need to do is we need to step back and, you know, you need to readjust if, if a situation changes and, and make sure, you know, as they call it, situational awareness. Clear your mind and make sure you're focused on the task. And if there is a change, then you need to refocus and make sure that everybody's aligned and everybody's on the same page. It's not just showing up. 
in body, it's showing up being mentally prepared. We have the support of our companies and our managements to make the safe choices and we're given all the tools, all the training, and you know, then it's, the rest is up to us to use those tools. The fact that he has, you know, reflected on what happened and how that can be different now is like worth a million dollars to me, to, for him to have that knowledge of how to keep himself safer and how to keep his crew safer.